Hello again, everyone. I'm Chunks of Earth, and this is my second video of today. I apologize. My videos are getting way too long. i got to learn to shut the hell up. I really do. But so much is happening, and if I have to make three videos about one subject, it, it's just going to clog people's inboxes up anyway. So I apologize for making these long videos, but stuff has to be said. i got to make some noise. It, it's cathartic. It makes me feel better to at least record in history what makes me crazy. So, you've heard about the recent Papa John's issue where 14 cents extra per pizza is too much to charge consumers, so he'd rather fight the health care law, remove uh, the amount of employees he gives minimum wage jobs to and continue to basically lower morale and punish the people that have made him so successful uh, or he lives in a 40,000 square foot house and it's like a castle and blah 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 so that's what you want to do as a businessman as a good capitalist as an American you want to get people to work for you you want to keep them down you want to make sure that they can be replaced easily because you pay them little. You don't want them to stay healthy. You don't want any longevity. You don't want experienced, loyal people working for you because they expect to be treated well. So you just replace them like you would slaves. If you make too much noise, you're out of here. You stick around too long, we're not going to reward you for it. So Papa John's is protesting the Obamacare mandate and it says it's going to raise prices but also it says in here that Papa Doc's Pizza John Shatner uh, will see he's got to he's got to give he wants to stop the health care coverage he has to get the 16,000 plus employees um, now, one Papa Doc's franchise owner in Texas, another bastion of treating people right, she says the law could interfere with her ability to open more restaurants. She could stop offering coverage and pay the fine, or she can keep her number of staff under 50 so the mandate doesn't apply. Obamacare is making me think about cutting jobs instead. So that's what we do to create more jobs. We blame, we blame the president for enacting a universal health care law that allows people to maintain their health, to maintain their sanity, and work longer, stay healthier, have fewer sick days, do not expose themselves for illness to others, do not expose themselves to food, being ill. Now nah, we're just going to cut jobs because profit is more important and even though she says that she's gonna she's suffering she's crying poverty she's crying poverty but strong sales last quarter and more than 1500 new retail locations planned in the near future good old Papa Doc doesn't seem all that bothered because he's gonna pass those care costs to the customers that's what you do you pass it on you pass it on so um, I'm, I'm just, again, I'm fascinated at the greed and selfishness. You know, I love America. It allows me to abuse Americans. That's your fault. You have to work for Papa Doc's. Um, and that goes back to, well, go get a job. Where are you going to get a job at? And, you know, look at all these, these job creationists. I swear that these jobs are being, their jobs are everywhere. But they're low pay, no benefits and no future. The jobs are out there if you want to make minimum wage where you're going to have to apply for the government to give you support because you can't pay your bills, you can't feed yourself, you can't maintain a car or car insurance, you don't have any health insurance. COBRA costs between $800 and $1,700 a month depending on how old you are and depending on your pre-existing conditions. So if you're making seven and change an hour and you can't work 40 hours a week anymore, because that implies full time and you're entitled to other benefits, 
So you, let's say you're working 35 hours a week. So seven and a half dollars an hour times 35, less than 250 a week. So you're making a thousand dollars a month. That's before taxes, and taxes are going to be about 25 to 30 percent. So you're making 750 dollars a month take home. Your insurance is 1,700 dollars a month. Your car, even if it's paid off, your insurance has got to be 100 bucks a month. Your electric, your um, food, you know, you, you got to spend 2,500 dollars a month to live, and yet you're only making 750. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea. Good job, Papa Doc. And of course, when you're the richest man around, you get to start these trends and you get people to follow you. Applebee's jumped right in and stated that they too will not hire people to work minimum wage because as a restaurant, you want sick people infecting other the cooks, the servers, all the people around your food. You don't give a crap whether they come to work sick. Um, or if they don't have health care, you just send them home, they don't get paid anyway. So there's no sick days, there's no benefits, and then you have to hire more people to cover the sick people. It makes great business sense. Great business sense. And this guy owns 40 Applebee's franchises. He's obviously poor, right? He's, he's barely making a living. He's barely scraping by. So he's going to have to cut hours, bring them down to 28 28 hours in order to avoid giving them health care. So he's, he's basically going to lose a lot of employees because I don't know anybody that can afford to work 28 hours a week and, and so they're going to get second job. They're going to get two part-time jobs and wind up working 50 to 60 hours a week to make what they'd make in 40. I still don't understand who's going to be eating in these places. Who can afford to eat out at restaurants? Yeah. So here's another example, and there's a there's an interesting article here. I want to keep this short. And lastly, we have the greatest restaurant to hit the American landscape. That landmark of good food, great service, and high quality. So now, as you can see, 5% surcharge to the bill. Now, what this guy, another Florida guy, I love, I love Florida. John Metz owners, owns 40 Denny's franchises. 40. And what he's going to do, he's going to infect, infect, he's going to in, in, Include, that's the word I'm looking for, darn it, tired. Going to include a surcharge. I've got to pass the cost on to the customer, right? Because you're not responsible for anything, Mr. Metz. It's the customer's fault for coming into your stupid, shitty restaurant. It's the server's fault for coming to work in your stupid, shitty restaurant. It's the cook's fault for coming to work in your stupid, shitty restaurant. So Mr. Metz states hypocritically he's not any insurance, but... And, of course, he'd obviously like to cover all employees under insurance, but to pay 5000 per employee would cost us 175000 per year, and he can't afford it because most of our restaurants don't make $175,000 a year. But well, maybe you need to own fewer restaurants. I don't know. Maybe you need to improve the quality of food. Maybe you need to cut down that light bill that I see here where everything's lit up and your carbon footprint is pretty high. You know, there's a lot, of, a lot of things you can do to cut costs besides punish the customers for coming to see you. But what he, what he also plans on doing by doing this, and I can't find it here, but he's, it's been in another article, he stated that by doing this, he hopes, literally, he hopes that the servers get tipped less to, to bring home the point that Obamacare is a bad thing. So not only is he going to reduce the hours of the people that, that are unfortunate enough to support his profits, he's going to reduce their wages by punishing the customer in hopes they tip less. Wow. This is capitalism. This is America, and this is what the government 
seems to have no issue with. Or the, the voters, the populace. Again, you know, the coal mine guy is going to fire people. Who are you going to hire? You're going to have to pay them, you know, wages and health care. Who are you going to hire if nobody wants to work for you? So you're basically putting yourself out of business to make a political point. And where will you work when all your franchises close down? I'm Chunks of Earth, and so are you. And if you continue to, to support these business practices, I don't know what to tell you. You're, you're a masochist. Peace, and may the chunks be with you always.